The actual death of Dracula in the book is surprisingly very short. It takes place in just a few lines. But I will explain to you just very briefly what happens before the actual words um, appear in the book. Uh, Morris, Quincy Morris, and um, Jonathan Harker, and well, I think also uh, Arthur, Arthur, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm sorry, nous devons encore commencer. J'ai mal. The actual uh, death of Dracula, as written in the book, is surprisingly short. In fact, it uh, takes place over a matter of 12 to 15 lines. And give you some idea of what actually takes place before the description of his death, you would have to read the last four or five pages, of course, of the book, consisting of Mina Harper's journal, in which he describes what takes place, that Jonathan Harker and Quincy Morris are following the Zigani, the gypsies, who are taking Count Dracula back to Castle Dracula, so that he can be underground back in his tomb before dawn, so that he is no longer in any danger of being destroyed. Now, what actually happens is that they meet the gypsies, they fight against them, they uh, have several um, individual fights, they are both carrying great big knives, one is carrying a Bowie knife, of course, named after Colonel James Bowie of the United States, and the other is carrying a Kokri knife, which is the knife of the Gurkhas, the famous Nepali troops. Now, they jumped onto the top of the wagon, they wrenched off the top of the box in which Dracula is lying, and this is the description. I saw the current lying within the box upon the earth, some of which the rude falling from the cart had scattered over him. He was deathly pale, just like a waxen image, and the red eyes glared with a horrible, vindictive look which I knew too well. As I looked, the eyes saw the sinking sun, and the look of hate in them turned to triumph. But on the instant came the sweep and the flash of Jonathan's great knife. I shrieked as I saw it sheer through the throat, whilst at the same moment Mr. Morris's bowie knife plunged into the heart. It was like a miracle. And before our very eyes, and almost in the drawing of a breath, the whole body crumbled into dust and passed from our sight. I shall be glad, and as long as I live, that even in that moment of final dissolution, there was in that face a look of peace, such as I never could have imagined would have rested there. Yeah.